Yeah. Okay, so tell me about what are you introducing on Right to Work? Well, actually, we're going to do this at the press conference. So well, if I tell there. you, Roy, it's going to be... It's already, gonna... ever, it's already all out there. Come on. <laughs> well, um, so we've, inter- we're gonna, we've got two bills. Uh, that we plan on introducing. One is for the public sector. Right That's for, Representative Mag. That's right? Representative Mag, and uh, I have the private sector for workplace freedom. Are we looking at ballot issues here? Is that how this would work, or is this just legislation? No. What the, um, the the bills we just sent the co-sponsor requests out for today uh, is is, pure, is just legislation. Um, you know, we we do have also a resolution that would place it on the ballot as well, but that's not. What, <clears throat> and we might address that in the press conference as well, but that. We didn't send out a co-sponsor request for that. You, you've been a supporter of Right to Work for a long time. Why? Why is this important for Ohio? Well, you know, I, I'm a supporter of it for several reasons. You asked two questions there. Yeah. Uh, you know, one, the, I believe in individual freedom to, to join a union and to pay the union dues and be represented by them. I think that's if you want to do that, that's wonderful. God bless you. Go do it. But I also, you know... Um, you know, I also uh, recognize and respect people's choice if they don't want to, to go that route. Um, you know, so that they should have the freedom in this state uh, to choose one or the other. You know, uh, why is it important for Ohio? Because I believe other states are starting to are recognizing one at a time, and most recently, uh, Indiana and Michigan, that uh, that being a, a workplace freedom state, a right to work state gives them a competitive advantage over their peer states that are not. Uh, and, and like even, like I said, Michigan and Indiana most recently, you know, they're the 23rd and 24th states to adopt such legislation. Uh, and I just think it's worthy of a conversation here in Ohio. I mean, we, our neighbors are, are going this route. Um, you know, they see the value in it. We ought to at least be discussing it. There's been a flurry of emails today, and of course these emails pop up all the time whenever this is mentioned, that the voters overwhelmingly rejected Senate Bill 5. Mm-hmm. Is this just another attempt at getting Senate Bill 5 through? Absolutely not. Uh, no, this is, this is not at all Senate Bill 5. Senate Bill 5 was putting guardrails and restrictions around collective bargaining. This is, this is giving the workers freedom, I mean, to choose. So to me, it's two totally separate things. Uh, you know, I think the Columbus Dispatch did a, um, a poll recently and I've got that in my office. If I knew you were going to be here, I would have brought the, the, the facts. But, but basically it said that 65% of Ohioans in a very recent poll support the concept of workplace freedom. Uh, and as you saw the results of Senate Bill 5 that you brought up, you know, when it went to referendum, it was sort of the opposite in terms of percentage support. So I wouldn't at all compare this to Senate Bill 5. Would right to work kill unions in Ohio? I don't think so. I mean, that's, uh, you know, I think it, it, just like if a union adds value to their workers, I mean, if they can prove their value to their constituents, uh, then, then they'll thrive. They'll do well. People will choice, choose to join them because they see the value in them. Uh, and, and I would say those unions that perhaps don't add value for their membership, then maybe it would hurt them, but, uh, but people will be free to choose.